Impact News. So there's a lot of rumors going on. In my ass. Impact News. Every single person backstage wants a piece of your ass. Impact News. So there's a lot of rumors going on. In my ass. Impact News. Hey party people, what's going on? It's BQ with the Impact Lounge. Impact News. On the Impact Lounge. In my ass. What's up everybody? Trent here with an Impact Lounge News exclusive as announced tonight at Rebellion. Live from Toronto, Ontario, Canada at the Rebel Complex. There's a new streaming service that's about to pop off on May 1st, 2019 called Impact Plus. Uh, this looks like a streaming service. This is a full on demand uh, media library for Impact Wrestling. Basically, from what we can gather so far, it looks like this will be replacing the GWN. And. Um, the preview, the commercial that aired on uh, on the show tonight at Rebellion basically showed that uh, the layout's really cool, very modern. There's going to be more features, more content. It's a real modern and up-to-date, uh, full-scale library for Impact Wrestling, and um, it looked cool. It, I mean, just if you, if you could see in the in the commercial they showed. All the guys were playing with it. Basically, it looks like a beta uh, type, you know, like a, pro a prototype that was released, you know, maybe just for the sake of the commercial. But if that is what it's going to look like, I'm really excited because it looks really, really cool. Uh, GWN, as you know, needed a facelift bad and an organizational um, uh, makeover bad. I don't know what it was. I don't know who was in charge of that one before. Uh, I've been a subscriber since month one. I've had the um, GWN since the beginning. And, uh, you know, I support it. I don't watch it as much, mostly due to time. But one of the things that bothered me was uh, was the layout. I've always been bothered by the layout. You know, and it was one of those things where you can, at one time, you couldn't even resume playing uh, something you had started. There was no queue, and it was it was just, it was bad. It was badly done. It was bad UI. But Impact Plus looks really cool, and um, I'm psyched for it. Now, my only question is that what we don't know is that if it's an automatic changeover from uh, GWN. So I'm a GWN subscriber. Is my app going to just update and my subscription just carry over to Plus? Is the price the same? I want to know. I got questions. They did put a tweet out saying that they're going to be uh, uh, putting details out in the next day or two. I mean, the launch date on this is May 1st. So my assumption is that I'm going to get an app update on May 1st and we're going to roll from there. So uh, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with this thing. This is going to be pretty cool. It looks like it's going to be available on Apple TV, Android TV, Chromecast, Roku, and Fire TV. Still nothing on PS3 uh, and PS4. I'm bummed about that because I stream a lot on the PlayStation. So I'd love for that to be released. But Roku is a, is, is a plus to have a Roku. Uh, as long as I can stream it somewhere, I'll be happy. But... Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a pretty exciting thing, guys. This is uh, this looks to be uh, another step in the right direction. This is a modern-looking uh, media platform for Impact to make some money on and to reach new fans. It did mention it's still gonna it's still gonna have a global feel uh, with the whole um, uh, libraries from other companies in there. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. To me, one of the big perks is having a uh, a, a content share between different promotions so if impact gonna be hosting it i'm totally down for that so yeah i'm looking forward to it guys if you're a subscriber let me know uh leave some comments below on the uh if you're listening on the youtube channel if not leave some comments on our social media pages at we talk impact on instagram and twitter let us know uh what you think are you a gw subscriber what um what bothered you what you like what did you not like what did you want to change uh, and if you're not a subscriber, tell us why you're not. And would you be interested in, in joining the Impact Plus based on what they showed us? You know, what was uh, just some of your pros and cons? Give me some feedback here. I give you a couple of mine. I think for the big thing is the app is finally called Impact something. I mean, the company is called Impact and you're calling it Global Wrestling Network. I get it. It was uh, during the Global um, Global Force days at the same time. They kept it thinking, all right, well, it's a global thing because we're, we're getting promotions around the world. It worked still, but at the same time, it didn't work. So, um, you know, now it's at least an impact app. You have a, something that says the brand, that logo. I mean, this is what the company is now. So uh, I'm glad that they're good, they're doing it that way, guys. But um, all right, well, hey, let's just uh, let's definitely give us some feedback. 
Let's see what you think. We got, uh, you know, May 1st is the launch date. So I'd say download it anyway. If you don't have it yet, I'm sure there's some free content on there too. So download the app. Show them what you, um, you know, show some support to Impact Wrestling on this new venture, and let's take it from there. But, guys, don't forget, connect with us at We Talk Impact on Instagram and Twitter. Connect with me personally. I'm Trent at Vanilla Joke on Twitter and Instagram and Hemi Music on Twitter and Instagram. That's my band. And uh, we're going to be talking Rebellion very soon as well, but this was one big piece of news that came out of it, so we wanted to get this out. So, guys, yeah, thank you very much for listening. We'll be back with some more news later on.